वेलकम टू माय साइट फॉर डायरीज योर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सलेंस योर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इन साइट कोर एंड डॉट नेट आई एम योर होस्ट जितेंद्र घानेकर आई एम साइट कोर टेक्नोलॉजी एम वी पी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम एन साइट कोर सर्टिफाइड डेवलपर एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सएम क्लाउड सर्टिफिकेशन सो टूडेज वीडियो इज इन दीरीज साइट कोर एस एक्स ए द टॉपिक इज क्रिबन इन एस एक्स ए okay you can say it's an optional topic uh, additional topic in sxs but very important and small topic i am just uh, giving you a introduction in this video so what we are going to cover in this video we will see what is scriban uh, how the scriban is used in sxs scriban templates in sxs basic syntax and examples and uh, we will see more about scriban few pointers about the scriban it's a very small uh video we just giving you the background or you overview of a scriban okay, before starting to the uh today's topic let me request you if you are not subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing to the channel and click on the notification bell so that you can you will get the regular updates from our channel if you like the video please do click on the like button and upload this video do provide your feedback via the comment and do share this with your friends and colleagues so let's start our today's topic so let's start from the basic what is scriban scriban is an open source high performance and flexible text templating language designed to help developers generate a dynamic test contents so it's a different language which you can use to generate your content dynamically okay so so it is commonly used in a various contexts such as a web development documentation generation and configuration files creation so what are the key features of scriban first is a high performance the scriban is a design to be fast efficient and making it suitable for a real time text generation scenario as well as it is a lightweight so the scriban is a lightweight so it also help in the high performance so both goes together so high performance and lightweight so scriban has a small footprint and minimal dependency making it easy to integrate with the into the different projects so these are the two key features high performance and lightweight and then expressive syntax so if you see the syntax of the scriban it is very 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 clean and expressive you can easily read and understand so expressive syntax then extensibility developer can extend scriban with a custom function object to fit a specific use case so it is very extensible and cross platform scriban is written in dotnet and can run any platform supported by dotnet runtime okay so these are the key features of scriban high performance lightweight expressive syntax extensibility and cross platform so uh, let me summarize again the scriban is an open source high performance and flexible text templating uh, templating language designed to help developers to generate a dynamic text content and it its key features are it is high performance it it gives the high performance it is lightweight it has a expressive syntax very easy to read syntax it can extends uh, we can extend the uh, function of the scribans and the, it is a cross platform supported so this this is what scriban is now let's see how the scriban is used in sx scriban in sx scriban is supported out of box in sitecore experience accelerator uh, sitecore sx integrates scriban to enable flexible and efficient templating for rendering dynamic content this support allows developers and content authors to create manage template directly within the sitecore environment without needing additional third party tools or extensive custom development so first of all scriban is out of box in the sitecore accelerator so you do not have to do anything to use the scriban this is integrated within the scriban it is a flexible and efficient templating for rendering a dynamic content please note that the scriban is used for the generating the dynamic content not for the static content the support always allows developers and content authors to create manage template directly within the sitecore environment so the you can manage your content within the sitecore environment only uh, there is no need to have any third party tools or extensive uh, custom development so common use case for scriban is first is a web development where you are you want to generate html cfs or javascript dynamically then you can use a uh, the scriban 
static site generated generator so creating a static content for website based on the dynamic data so you can use it for a static uh, site uh, generators email templates and this is very useful in the scribbles okay the, uh, the the scribbles are very useful in the email templates so in email template you have a dynamic content like you you want to address the the person whom you are sending an email so that name is a, a dynamic similarly there are many dynamic data okay so generally use the token based some system so instead of that you can use the scribble itself which will generalize the which will generate the personalized email content documentation creating a dynamic documentation from data sources configuration files if you want to generate any configuration file which are based on templates and input data the uh, you can use the scribble also so these are the few use cases for the scribble now there is a concept called scribble templates in sx so sx provides you the scribble templates where you can use the scribble so what are the key feature obviously it is it is in it inherited from the scribble you are using a scribble technology so first thing is the flexibility which scribble gives so you will get a, if you are using a scribble template you will have a high degree of flexibility in content rendering enabling the creation of or creation of a dynamic and customizable content blocks then of course performance scribble is designed to be fast and efficient making it suitable for real time content rendering scenarios so fast performance syntax we have already talked about this syntax the scribble templating language uses a straightforward and expressive syntax which can be easily learned and used by the developers and familiar with other templating language so if you know c c sharp if you know any other language then it's very easy to read a scribble uh, language integration with sx again we have talked about this in site core sx scribble templates can be used in various parts of the site including page layout component rendering and more this integration allows for a consistent and reusable content structure across the different pages and the component now let's talk about the basic syntax and the examples so if you want to define the variable here so if you see here the variable how it is defined where name is equal to john and hello and how you uh, display that okay double curly bracket inside that is very easy to uh, do then if you want to do any conditional one if you see here if user dot is admin then welcome admin else welcome user so this is how you print the uh, you do the conditional okay then functions if you want to write a function so this is how you define the function function double x x is your parameter return x into 2 and then you want to end you should be ending the function with the end okay and then if you want to try, use that double of phi is how this you are using you are calling a double function you are passing a value phi here so this is how you call the uh, you call, create a functions and the loops so this may be you are mostly you are will be using the loops if you are using the scribble that for item in item so this is how you will do the for loop okay and, and at the end end so these are the few uh, basic syntax and the example of the scribble let's see few few more the more pointers about the scribble in sx first thing is a scribble templates available into the rendering variant so you can see uh, the scribble templates in the rendering variant in the content tree and can be inserted into the rendering variants like any other variant item okay so let me show this to you okay i am in uh, now in the uh, site code so if you in your sx site you have a rendering variant I, we have already done a video in the uh, for the rendering variant you can have a look on that so uh, i will give that in the description or maybe on the top i button so you can have a look on that rendering variant so in the rendering variant say if you are creating any rendering variant uh, let me see yeah we are in one of the video we have created a rendering variant for the promo okay where we have added this sec the the structure here okay if you see promo icon and all the things the promotion okay instead of that if you want to create the uh, scribble one you can define a scribble i'm just giving the name as a scribble okay you can give whatever name you want to give then insert and then you will see here a scribble template so you can add a scribble i just give the name as part 
and here you can add your template okay so this is how you can use it so rendering variant you can have this this scriban as another rendering variant which will use the scriban templating language to generate your content okay coming back to the presentation the second point is site core item and field extension extensions are available so there is a documentation link for a uh, for item and field extension i will give that in the description okay if you think that i should be explaining those let me know i will do a separate video on that uh, so site core item and field extensions are available okay this is very important uh, these rules items can be placed under a scriban item and test it this allows you to have a conditional logic in your scriban template and test a rule to automatically choose different renderings or fields to render or whatever your presentation requirements are so you can use a rule items in your scriban template so that will allows you to have some conditional display so if there is any conditional display depending on your rules like you do in the for the personalization rule right if you want to display uh, either uh, if xyz condition you want to display a component a or the component b or that guy or you want to display as different data source for different condition uh, then you can use the rule item so similar Similarly, you can have this uh, rule item in the scriban template itself. So you it can dynamically generate your content, dynamically display your content based on your rule condition. Scriban templates can be exported and imported using the creative exchange functionality, and this let front end developers exercise a good amount of a control. Again, a very important feature of a scriban. Uh, your front end front end team is building your uh, your front end right so this is you can they, they can export or import this uh, uh, scriban by using creative exchange functionality maybe we will have another video on the creative exchange functionality okay the scriban table can be exported by them and they can do some of their changes and again upload it okay so this is very important functionality for a front end team and the last queries can be run in the scriban template by using s underscore query function and other rendering variants call on it's the result so you can test it more uh, by you queries by using the scriban so these are the few pointers additional things which are uh, which are i'm i'm i have mentioned here so you this is just an overview of a scriban you i am not doing an extensive video on this okay i have not used much scriban so if you think that you should be uh, you sh you need a uh, need a more detailed video let me know okay i will try to create that video but for now i'm just giving you an overview of the uh, scriban so that's it uh, we are done for today uh, today we have seen a very small topic a scriban topic a overview of a scriban if you like this video do click on the like button and upload this video do share this video with your friends as uh, with your site core colleagues and till now if you are not subscribed to the channel i will uh, request you to do subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates from our channel thank you thanks for watching